Today we will show you how to paint Baylor from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys, this is Nisa from Delph Imagination. I have a painting tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be Baylor painted by one of our painters Paulina and narrated by Agnieszka. This tutorial is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! We will start by painting wings. Use Settle Brown as your paint and wipe brush number 6. Dip your brush in the paint and wipe it out with paper towel. When the brush will leave like a mist effect on the towel, you are ready to start. Cover with dry brush whole surface of the wings. Dry brush is a technique that requires your brush to be completely dry. Don't use water. If by an accident you dipped your brush in the water, it is better for you to wait for it to get dry or to use a different brush. Change the color for a brighter one, like red leather. Use dry brush to highlight some places on the wings to add some texture and color diversity on them. So now it's time for the skin. Take Cavalry Brown and White Brush number 6. You can clean your brush before this step with water or some other cleaner. For the first layer, try not to make it too thick. Too thick layer would cover the details of the model. But don't worry if you overpaint something. We will paint other parts with different colors anyway and there is always a chance to correct your mistakes. When you paint larger areas, it is easier and faster to start with bigger brushes. But you can always change your brush for a smaller one. The most important for you is to feel comfortable with your tools. So if you feel safer with smaller brush, you should take it.
Next, take round brush number two and with flat red, glaze the highlights on the muscles on Balor's tights, abdomen and arms. Mix your paint with water for it to be more fluid and transparent. Dry out the excess of it from your brush and gently paint the chosen areas. Change your brush for even smaller one, like one brush number one, and use glaze on eyebrow arches, cheekbones, chest, abdomen, heels, muscle tops, the most protruding parts. Still with round brush number one, take neutral grey and cover with it hair, horns, teeth, skulls on his chest, shoulder and belt. Now take white brush number 6 and silver grey color. Dry brush everything that is covered with neutral grey. Change your brush for white brush number 2 and use it to dry brush places that was difficult to approach with bigger brush. It's time for some details. Use black paint and round brush number zero and carefully paint with it eyes, clothes and leather straps on its arms.
Take color steel and round brush number 2. With this color paint bumbruses, greaves, belt, pulleins, chains on its arms and chest. Be careful because this paint is very liquid, so you don't need to add a lot of water. Take white brush number 2 and color silver. Dry brush with it the steel parts.
exchange your brush for white brush number 6, a neutral grey color. Dry brush with it baller skirt. Be careful not to overpaint the skin. Above the base, take white brush number 6 and orange brown. Cover with it the base with one even layer. For the base we don't need to worry if the primer shines from under the second layer, we can use that as an extra texture. With white brush number 6 and gold brown, use dry brush technique to add highlights on the base. For the fire whip, take round brush number 2 and yellow ink. Cover the whip with thick layer. Afterwards, you can wipe out the excess of this ink. Next, use red ink to add another color. Use red ink mostly for cracks in the sculpture. By using black green ink, repeat this step for Balor Sword. I hope you guys like this painting tutorial. I really like the finished results. We are really curious about your results too. So tag us in the of Imagination in your social medias and share your results with us. And meet me in the comment section. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.